This is DSN TV, showcasing the ability in disability. Proudly brought to you by the PA people. Okay, I'm here with George Tonner from the New South Wales Physical Rugby League, and I'll let George tell us much more about it. So, firstly, George, how did it all start? Yeah, we started in 2010. Um, I love rugby league, and uh, I couldn't play normally, so um, I said, why not uh, try competition uh, for physical disabled players? I was born with cerebral palsy, love the sport, and uh, we went from there. Got a couple of board members, we organised the rules. Uh, and it's been five years in the making now. We've got the team, four teams, New Town Jets, Mainly Seagulls, the Sydney Roosters and South Sydney Richard Rich, Rich Sport, this concept. Right, so the, the, those normal rugby league uh, clubs are supporting you guys with all that? Yeah, uh, we play expo games at various locations. Uh, we had uh, two at ANZ Stadium, uh, one, at, uh, one at the uh, Roosters uh, um, home ground. Yeah, these guys get behind us and it's good to be uh, recognised from, from them, from the top level. Okay, great. Well, what type of disabilities are he's playing it? Yeah. Well, uh, as I said, I, I was born with cerebral palsy. Uh, four class of disabled, di uh, physical disabled. Mm -hmm. We got um, uh, cerebral palsy, um, amputees, upper lower, uh, muscular disability, and ABI. ABI is, is uh, a cried brain injury. So when someone was born normally, but through an accident, uh, through a car accident, they were permanently disabled, and they can also play for us too. Okay, great. So where where you're with four teams and they're spread all over the Sydney at the moment. Have you had four teams throughout the four, five years, or has it gradually been growing? Yeah, we've always had four teams, but of course we want to expand. So uh, we just need maybe five or ten more players, and we can expand to another maybe one or two teams. We're looking at going in the West, maybe Penrith or Pamela away, or for that means West Tigers. Okay. Got any um, patrons or anything like that behind the major rugby league companies? Not, not, as, not as patrons, but we've had the likes of Jason Stevens, Sean Garlic, Manoa Thompson play for us in exhibition games. So that's been good to be recognised. We've also been a rugby league week. Uh, we've been on various uh, media outlets, uh, and they've they've showcased this this league. Sure. Is it? Do you know whether it's played um, in the state or Australia-wise? Well, we're the first ones in the world. Oh wow, that's pretty good. So. Um, it was, my, like I said, it was an idea I had a couple of years ago. Uh, New Zealand have just taken hold of, uh, of, of the game. And next year we hope to go to New Zealand, Auckland, to play in the Nines tournament, the first Nines tournament in the world for physical table people. Wow, that's sensational, mate. That's really showcasing the, the ability and disability, mate. That's fantastic work. Yeah, I mean, as you saw today, the, the boys dig in. Uh, like I said, we all have various, diff diff various degrees of disability, but the boys just, just um, have a go and what they can and can't do, they do the best in the field. Yeah, no, I was floored. I was just, it was great to see it. I, I hadn't seen it before. Coming and watching today was just spectacular. Tell us more about the actual game, how the nuts and bolts, how it all works. So pretty much uh, it's still six tackles. Uh, we, uh, we're allowed to have able-bodied players in the game, but they can't score. They can tackle, but they can't score. So all the scorings and kicking are done by disabled people on the last tackle, so we can't kick into the last tackle. Four points for a try, six point, uh, two points for a goal kick. Um, yeah, pretty much the same. Uh, 40, uh, it's 100 metres across and 40 in. Mm -hmm. But as we progress and get more teams, get more plays, I can't see why we can't get to a full field.
Yeah, so what you were saying with the other body, they, they were in the bright coloured shirt. Yes, yes. yes. So, yeah, yeah. 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 so what's what's um, what about the the red shorts? What, what's the go with that? Well, it's okay. So red shorts are guys who come back from injury uh, or don't want to be tackled. So that's like a master's rule. It's touch, tag, yep. defence, and attack. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I'm an older guy. I mean, I used to play tackle, but I mean, I, I can't get, I can't afford to get injured. Mm. It is a tackle sport, but I, just, I still enjoy the running game and just passing to my mates. Okay, so no, that's looking really good. So with with your four teams, what are your numbers you're looking at? Currently, what, 40 people, 40, 50 members? Yeah, we've got about 50 registered plays. Okay. Uh, but week to week, we struggle getting the, uh, the the registered plays for that team to play. So, of course, we've got ring-ins and fill-ins. Mm-hmm. But like I said, uh, all the games, the grand final was 10, uh, 12, 4, I think, so another close game. Yep. All the games have always been close. Uh, and like I said, mate, the, the boys put in and uh, for the teams and for the colours. How many rounds do you have each, each year? Yeah, we've got nine, nine rounds. We've got two rep games, uh, being Sydney Country. So uh, this year we had the luxury of having, uh, of having Joe Williams play for us, for Country. Uh, and that was great. Next year we go to Tamworth and we also have the All-Star game. The All-Star game was uh, a concept which I had an idea of, of bringing Indigenous players and Prime Major players to play against the the others, uh, the Europeans and so on. Right, okay. Sure. I, 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 mate, I can't see any reason why NRL wouldn't get behind you. What you're doing is sensational work. Yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. Everything takes time, but I'm, I'm proud of the fact that seeing these kids go up and mature into rugby league players and just being team participants. Some of the guys haven't played league before, let alone a sport, and to see them glow and seem to... Happy, it's my final life. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's such great work. So, uh, out of those disabilities, you, you said, are you looking to broaden the range of disabilities? Yeah, we're looking at uh, visually impaired. Uh, we've got uh, 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 Jeff Clark, uh, Panly- ex Pan Olympian, 96. Yeah. Uh, he's visually impaired and uh, he, he plays great. He puts his heart and soul into the game. We're looking for visually impaired guys. Of course, we're a bit short because you guys yeah. have that disability where you can't see, but yeah. Yeah. by all means, we're trying to recruit them. And that will expand the numbers and expand our teams. Man with the ball, running wide to the right hand, to the, their right hand side. So we'll play the game now. A lot of open space to the left. And we continue to go to the right, uh, to their right on this occasion. Held. That was tackle four. I heard the referee say. So, so tackle is called again. And they're almost at the half, or around about the halfway line at the moment. And there's a kick downtown. <coughs> Ball bounces. Picked up by Newtown. Five minutes to go. So five minutes to go. So Manly still up 6 4. Couldn't bear to see another Manly win. Come on, Newtown. Very close game. It's good. It is. Right down the wire. Newtown with the ball now. Round about to 20 metres out from there. Oh yeah, well, we ring down one of our friends today, uh, young Sean Brown, and he's like, I've got to play this, I've got to play this, so I'm, sh- I'm sure you'll get lots of players, mate. Mem- membership's only $30, and you get, <laughs> you get your polo shirt, um, you get the chance to play at stadiums, they the stadium in front of 40,000 people, you get to, you get to meet, um, we were at Angeles Stadium, and actually, um, Joey John stopped talking to Bob Cat actually spoke to us, mm-hmm. so they're recognising us now, and it's, it's good, it's good arrangement from us. Oh, that's great. So, if people want to find out more, where can they go to find out more? Yeah, we're on Facebook, um, so please look up, look up um, this is our physical disability rugby league, uh, they can look us up, and, um, um, or, or they just write me an email, uh, or, like I said, look at YouTube, we've got all, all, all stuff over the internet. Uh, like I said, uh, Caramel Leagues Club is our grand, grand day sponsor, so go through them. But all means, we're looking for definitely, if we get five to my players, that'd be great. No, mate, that's great. And we'll put all our, the details up on our website because I think it's a really good thing. So. And I want to thank the Disability Sports Network because uh, it's guys like you who uh, we need the target. And hopefully, um, guys will take note and uh, please join us. Oh, no, mate, we'll spread the word for you. Congratulations, well done, mate. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, for, thank you. Cheers.
This is DSN TV, showcasing the ability in disability. Proudly brought to you by the PA people.